Many of you might be familiar with the book Into the Wild by John Krakauer. It was later made into an award-winning film directed by Sean Penn. It is about the life of my brother, Chris McCandless, who died young at only 24. Yet he made more out of his life than most that live well into old age. Corrine McCandless gave me an enormous amount of time and an enormous amount of her insights into Chris. But I did continually share with the family, as I had promised them that I would, on a kind of consulting basis, and so that was true through the end of the process. And his sister, Corrine, who was tremendous, she really made me understand McCandless more than I ever thought I ever would after reading the book. And Corrine, for Chris, was like his best friend. No one understood Chris more than Corrine did. We spoke to each other about things we could not tell anyone else. We understood each other better than anyone else ever will. Chris wrote himself a beautiful story, but did not survive to tell it. It is a story about courage and life lessons. I was a consultant on both the book and film, and I'm proud of the results of that work. So now I have become the storyteller. The book has inspired millions of readers and is printed in 28 languages all over the world. It was a fantastic speech. I'm blown away still, uh, very emotional. I, I thought it was a great speech, probably the best one we've had in the last 14 years. I thought she was a good, did a good job of hitting the students where they are and kind of shaking them out of their comfort zone. I found her very inspirational. In fact, uh, inspirational enough that I thought, I better go buy that book right now. Uh, the best I'd ever heard. I've been here for 29 fall convocations, and uh, the message today was, uh, was poignant. Uh, was uh, full of passion and full of uh, a lot of good advice. And she'd obviously done her research about us, and as I'm sure she would do for other audiences, I thought she was quite powerful. standpoint from a business management standpoint but I'm a firm believer that everything I've ever learned in business I can apply to every part of my life running a business is like running a household running a business is like running a family obviously there's things that are different but if you know where the focus needs to be and where the priorities need to be that same efficiency applies to everything in your life You have to ask yourself, do I have what it takes to take myself and lead my team into unchartered territory? Can I guide them along the way through the greatest of risks to achieve the ultimate rewards? It's nice to see someone be able to take a real life experience and translate that into how I can build that into an overall lifestyle, um, especially in, the, in a business setting as a businesswoman and to see the things that she pulled on to inspire her to make her the person that she was. So for me, that was to, for her to get the whole personal aspect of it, what really made it down to earth so I could relate to it. As a woman, kind of like, yeah, go. You know, you survived it and you're doing it and now you're passing something great on. And I was tearing up. I thought I was the only one, but I looked around the room and we were all just super emotional. And, and the way she talks is just, it's very professional, but it's heartfelt, it's very sincere. So it was moving. You decide where to focus your energy and nothing is more powerful than that because energy shapes destiny. <laughs>